vintage uh, thrift haul and this one is a little special because I recently got a job and it's a job in a first job back in an office in a long time because for a long time I worked for myself for like a few years. It's the first like real opportunity I've had that um, is paying me to make videos and uh, creative content so yeah I'm pretty excited. So I got a lot of stuff in the past week like I went to a few vintage stores and I got some great pieces and everything I got for like under $60, like everything, um, including the bags, the shoes, which I'll show you. And yeah, I think I'll just do like a try on and try on some stuff, maybe talk through it and show you everything in detail and hopefully you like it. And yeah, I, I'm just, I love everything I got and I'm excited also that as much as I have like expenses and stuff that I want to take care of, um, I don't have to spend money on retail because I've learned like to really just only shop at thrift stores and I understand if you're somewhere where you know you maybe don't have good thrift stores like I know Brooklyn doesn't have they have kind of like curated vintage stores but they don't have a lot of thrift stores except if you go like um, further into Brooklyn um, and it can be you know it's not exactly in in maybe your area and it can be hard to get to and maybe you like don't have a car and you live somewhere kind of rural, whatever, um, but I understand, like, you know, shopping retail, if you have, like, last minute, you need to get some shoes for an event, and, you know, you just don't have the time to, like, look through stuff, um, but I, yeah, I, I'm really happy that I've gotten pretty good at, like, thrifting stuff and finding great pieces, and I just feel like I would never, unless, yeah, I'm in a pinch to get something, and, you know, specific, whatever, um, but, like, avoiding retail, um, and, like most of the time and just really saving a lot and also just like getting these pieces that are like timeless, beautiful quality. Like I always look for something really special and everything again and I just like love having all these things but also I tend to like get too much stuff because it's so cheap. Um, so yeah, um, this video is not sponsored but if you want to go in my like vintage store, um, uh, it's uh, Shell Vintage and it's yeah. Etsy.com slash shells for sale slash shop slash shells for sale and I'll put the link in um, but yeah that would support this channel and also help me get rid of stuff and help me like feel encouraged to like thrift and not feel bad about it so I can like share things with people that, that you know that are really cool and I think you guys will like um, yeah so let's just like try on stuff and let's do it this is 100% linen, the, it's like kind of fall colors, but of course it could still be summer, but I, I do envision myself wearing this in the fall more, but it's pretty like, I don't know, I don't want to be too fancy at work right away, like I'm not trying to be that like bitch who's like super fancy and like, you know, whatever, but I also do love to dress up and I'm excited to have like the workplace is another place to express myself and have my outfit seen and just kind of be out in the world, it's just like perfect, I don't know, it's like, Super cute, super fitted to my body, and I think the pattern is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I think this is amazing. And also for accessories, we got this great bag. Um, J. Crew Market Tote, also thrifted, everything is thrifted. And I'll also put the prices above so you can see. This pink dress, which is kind of like a long cardigan y thing, but it's also like the back is a tie so it's like adjustable so it is a dress um it looks a bit like i don't know sometimes when i first saw it i thought it looked a bit kind of like a nighty or something or like a bathrobe but with like short sleeves which makes it really cool but i was like you know there's something about it with like oh, it's a bit like grabbing me um there's a pocket and i don't know it's just like really nice it's 100 percent cotton which um, if you've seen like another video of mine or like you'll learn about me is I'm pretty sensitive so I need like very soft fabrics, like very natural materials, what I try to go for. Obviously with some things that are like outerwear or like, you know, certain suits, like 
they do tend to be polyester. Um, still, you know, I love a good linen suit or a wool suit or something, but you know, it, sometimes you can get away with it and it's not too irritating because it's not like so close to the skin. Like there's another layer underneath or whatever, but this is, yeah, a dress and it's like very comfortable cotton. Um, and I, I, I don't know, again, like I want to wear this to the office. I don't know if I'll be so bold right away because it's kind of like, ooh, like in your face, but I love it. And at least like for summer, you know, days I can wear it and be very like, you know, it's very eye-catching. Um, but it is definitely a very kind of like sophisticated feel for me because it's kind of longer and it's fitted and feels sophisticated. Chanel gold belt, something pretty fancy, but um, yeah, I obviously got this as a product as well, and we'll see how it looks on with this outfit. I don't really wear belts usually, but I, I've gotten a few recently that I really like, I, you know, I, um, are not opposed. I just don't like to be super like suffocated, this side sensitive, but um, I think like with this, it's kind of loose and you know, you can adjust it, so, That's why I really like in the summer, like, I really like loose flowy dresses, like, in the winter I wear leggings and, like, things that are warm but, like, very comfortable on my waist. And in the summer I can just throw on one thing and breathe well, you know, and it feels really good. So I really like this tunic dress thing, um, like, Asian inspired with the col Mandarin, Mandarin color, I don't know. But anyway, it's a bit staticky, but um, it does feel nice and it's lightweight. And it, it might work, you know, I want it to be like adventurous as well because I, you know, haven't been in an office in a while. I don't know what I like to wear to work and I, you know, thought this was so cool and it's form-fitting and breezy, casual, so, but also kind of like dressed up at the same time. Um, so, yeah, I'll give it a go. We'll see. Sometimes it's good to have it like up, and sometimes, I don't know, like a drop waist kind of look might work. 
Real gold, basically. So the next thing I got was this striped dress. It's like a midi dress. Um, the back is so cool. Very sexy. It's like very probably not words appropriate to have my back hanging out like this and like displaying my back knee to the world, which I don't really care about in the outdoors. But in work clothes, I just don't want to be showing so much skin. So, um, so I was thinking like there are some things that I could maybe do to kind of wear it because I think it has a really nice like silhouette and like this stripe is very like preppy and like casual but like nice. Um, so I was thinking like maybe I could, you know, put a sweater over it. I'll show you a couple options um, that I thought of, like a vest, um, but these are the, yeah, these are the couple things I thought of. This, with this, um, a, this beige short sleeve cardigan that I got at uh, Tiffany as well, by Michael Kors. So this is one option. more like office appropriate but like still cute so this is the other option this like uh, shirt dress I just tried on with this longer dress I like the kind of like longer silhouette paired with another long silhouette uh, I think it's kind of like funky and interesting and you know still like dressed up and like cute and yeah just like kind of a different approach and more modest so hopefully like the AC is going so that if I'm wearing this in the summer this is like a very good yeah cover up for this dress that I don't want to like be too hot and take it off because like I'll be showing my back to the world I can't do that um, if I'm wearing this dress because I just don't want to I don't want to be that girl so yeah I keep this on blanket they can go with in your bag like really small folded up and then you can wear it over shorts if you want to be more dressy I just love sarongs and it's like a new thing I've gotten into um, this summer and anyway so this is the next thing it's like a faux sarong khaki skirt it's a hundred percent cotton very nice and it's got this like elastic thing in the back I think it's a like I don't know I really like it I feel like it's maybe a bit like not frumpy, but it is, I don't wear long skirts very much that aren't like more tight and kind of like less fabric, but I think it's nice. And yeah, very beige, very office-y, but still very cute. Um, you know, with color, but I always grab my 
Matisse's in black or beige, I would say. Just like something I do. It's super sexy, so you could wear it like after work to go out. But it's like this like really cute eyelet uh, button hook thing that goes up, so it's kind of like shows a little skin, but not too much. This sweater, nice open weave cardigan. So just make it a little more office appropriate. And then it kind of turns into a pencil skirt when it's under something else, which I really like. So this is another purchase I've gotten um, from thrifting this for workwear this time. It's like this really cool open weave crochet -y kind of silky material, yellow like striped sweater. I'm really into stripes these days. Maybe because it's almost like Fourth of July. Um, yeah, and I just think, um, yeah, this is also like cool for the office, but very summery. Here's another option for a cover up. I swear I have new, uh, I mean, other clothes, but I'm trying to wear the stuff that I got just because to make it easier and like less. I could do another like you know work office like clothing combinations, but maybe that's for another video. This is. More simple, just the stuff that I purchased so that I'm not like all over the place and like have so many clothes everywhere. I'm already like overwhelmed as it is. So yeah, this is another option. Here is another work option. It's kind of like a slinky 90s midi, roughly mini dress, um, stretchy, but it's kind of a paisley pattern and kind of nude. Um, again, it's not like super office appropriate on its own, so I would pair it with the cardigan. Um, 100 percent polyester, but I feel like because it's kind of like a suit and it's it actually feels pretty good. I was wearing it around and you know certain polyester is like you just you have to feel it and see how it feels. Some of it's better than others, some of it like works and some of it doesn't, some of it feels shabby and some of it doesn't, and this feels pretty good. And also it's yeah, just more of like a kind of um, yeah, outer attire that I feel like it won't be too like um, too not breathable or whatever, um, 
um, I feel like it really works. I really like it. So um, this is just a, a kind of like pantsuit with like a vest, which is nice. You could wear something under it. And it's got this really pretty green color. are basics that you can definitely all mix up with each other like this. A lot of pistachio green, but not intentional, but I've been wearing it before it became trendy or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just like a chill, green's chill, I don't know. I don't wear it all the time, but it's like, it speaks to me. So this linen suit is actually part of a three-piece suit. This is the third part. Um, it's got a nice like, neckline, it's 100% linen, this three-piece skirt suit. And yeah, I think this is mm, a little like oversized and it doesn't really, I don't know, I wouldn't wear it under the shirt because it's like too hot and stuff and it's kind of like not very shaped. So I might like eventually when I get a chance like throw this into a cropped tank top or something when I get the time. It's going to be a little busier these days so yeah, we'll see when it happens but for now I think this is a really I'm not very organized with my video making. Um, yeah, 100% linen. This looks very nice, I think, together. Nice little floofy skirt. Some cute buttons on here. Very delicate. Another item I acquired this week, this J. Crew patchwork skirt, which I think is really preppy and super cute, and we'll go with everything because it's kind of rainbowy.
be great for putting a laptop in. If I bring a laptop, I think there's a computer there for me, but whatever. Like if I bring a lunch, which I haven't even thought about yet. Um, this also could be like a back to school fucking call because, you know, this, I mean, I don't know what kids wear these days at school, but you can definitely be like super like sophisticated and be, you know, wearing all this cool stuff as a teenager, I feel like, or like a college kid. Maybe people are like growing up faster because of Instagram, who knows? Anyway, this leather backpack, so cute, black and brown. I think it looks so good and it's so like grown up and nice. Reminds me of like Oxford College, like, you know, whatever. It reminds me of being very like sophisticated, edu educated person. <laughs> the short sleeves and the back is like pretty crazy I can't believe I got into it myself I'm not sure if I did it 100% right but I yeah I don't know why you'd have like buttons and a zipper in the back it's like hard to do yourself but at least it's not like a dress I need to take off to pee or something so it stays on pretty comfortable layered this with that like happy jumper vesty thing the best dress And yeah, these are really fancy, maybe for like a very fancy work event, but yeah, I'd say these are more out of office kind of shoes. They're super cute and repeated, strappy, and I don't have any heels. So these sandals, oh, exposure. Um, yeah, these are tight. I think these will be good for the office. Ice cream man is coming. Very casual, but like dressy at the same time, if you know what I mean. So little straps here. And they're really comfortable. And yeah, these are really cute and soft loafers. They're really comfortable. I actually walked a long time in these and I don't think of loafers as comfortable, which is why I don't wear them much except for in the house without a heel because they like hurt my heels. And I love loafers, but like I, they need to be like perfect to wear them or I get like, I can't walk. But I knew I would forget. I knew I would forget something, but I also uh, this week got these shoes to wear, which I love. They're like really nice leather. And by Skechers. Um, I like how they're kind of like Mary Janes, but also like um, kind of like, you know, like sandals, like slash, yeah, they're kind of like sporty sandals as well. Um, but also have like a bit of a feminine quality and like I love the material such nice the material such nice leather spongy cords and then I got these sandals as well my tub was recently broke and I got these instead um for now but I really like them they're like all leather and oh fucking exposure 
hello and they're yeah like velcro straps black and brown leather and it's very jumpy right now yeah i just think it's really nice and my exposure keeps changing okay slippers which i really love because of course shells thanks so much for watching um if you want to support my channel or like to see what else i have going on fashion wise um you can check out my etsy store um i'll also put the link in the description and if you want to buy anything that's cool um a couple of the pieces that i show you today i'll be having on there soon for like the summer collection um, not everything will be for sale, but at least if you like my style, maybe you'll like some stuff that I have um, from previous collections. And it would really help and mean the world to me and like be very supportive of you to, yeah, buy stuff from me. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not trying to like sell you anything, but I think you'll like the stuff that I have. And I love like vintage clothes and thrifting and I just love sharing this stuff. So I hope that you had fun with me and you like the outfits. And yeah, have a great summer and see you soon. And stay... Stay cool. Bye.